Hey guys, it's Kai. We're here at the next Community Day has been announced. Not just any ordinary Community Day, it's a Community Day Classic. We had 10 Community Day Classics in the past with Bulbasaur, Mudkip, Dratini, Larvitar, Swinup, Squirtle, Charmander, Marie, Porygon, and Batagon. If you guys haven't seen my announcement videos of those classic community days and the shiny catches from those classic community days, all of those videos will be in the description below. Go check them out. So June Community Day Classic is going to be featuring Cyndaquil. So yeah, Cyndaquil already had a community day back in November 2018, and that's when shiny Cyndaquil came out for the first time. Let's get on to the details. So Cyndaquil Community Day Classic is going to be on Saturday, June 22nd from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. in your local time zone. There's going to be increased spawns of Cyndaquil with a 1 in 25 shiny rate, 2 times catch XP, 2 times catch Stardust, 3 hour instants, 3 hour lures, and the exclusive move for Typhlosion is of course Blast Burn. With a 110 power in gyms, raids, and PvP. And then you can get photobombed by Cyndaquil five times during Community Day. And then there's the Pokestop showcases featuring Cyndaquil and Typhlosion. And then there's the field research tasks. Catch three Cyndaquil for a Cyndaquil encounter with a Hundo Bean at 420 at level 15. Five Great Balls. Two Ultra Balls, two Pineapple Berries, and 500 Stardust. And then there's the Community Day Special Research. It is optional. It is so worth the money. And then here is the Shiny Cyndaquil family. It's a decent Shiny family, not going to lie. And then there's the Community Day Ultra Box with 10 Ultra Balls, an Elite Charge TM, and the Community Day Special Research. All for five dollars, and for the event bundles, there's for thirteen hundred fifty Poke Coins, you can get fifty Ultra Balls, five Super Super Incubators, an Elite Charge TM, and five Lucky Eggs. For four hundred eighty Poke Coins, you can get thirty Ultra Balls, one Incense. Three super incubators and one lure module. And then I don't know if there's any uh, Cyndaquil stickers for the Community Day Classic. It's all right. Let me take a look at my Cyndaquil inventory. So as soon as my game loads, I'll show them to you. I got a few shiny Cyndaquil already. And as for my Typhlosions, do have a lot already. Even the Hisuian Typhlosion. So yeah, this is a very decent choice for a community classic. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, because Typhlosion, uh, it's actually getting a move update for the next season. It's getting Thunder Punch, which is going to give it a nice bait move in the Go Battle League, because currently it has a ton of Fire-type nuke moves and a Grass-type charge move that takes way too long to get to in Solar Beam, because the Fire-type charge moves it currently has are Blast Burn, uh, Fire Blast, Overheat, yeah, that's that takes a long time to get to those moves. Blast Burn's probably the cheapest move it currently has until it gets Thunder Punch. So yeah, it has a lot. Of, it really also has good sh uh, fast moves. It has uh, Incinerate and Shadow Claw, very good fast moves. It also learns Ember, but yeah, Shadow Claw and Incinerate are Typhlosion's best fast moves especially for PvP. Well, anyways, let me know in the comments below about your thoughts on Cyndaquil Community Day Classic. I'll play it, because why not? Anyways, 
Subscribe to my channel, drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Bye-bye.